Welcome back, fight fans. Welcome back. Welcome back. Let's just dig right into it. According to Michael Benson, Dillian White um, basically makes a statement in regards to Vladimir Klitschko and a potential comeback. He basically states that I'll fight Klitschko, knock him out if he comes back. He's a great fighter, but I believe it's my time now. I know how I, I know how I need to fight him. I just believe I will take it into his kitchen and rip out the sink. That's a very interesting statement from, you know, Dillian White in regards to Vladimir Klitschko. I think a Dillian White versus Vladimir Klitschko fight would be huge. And, you know, a lot of guys want to write off Klitschko and say, you know, he's coming off two consecutive losses to Tyson Fury and to Anthony Joshua. Uh, and, you know, a lot of fanboys who don't know or understand boxing will say, oh, he was done when he fought AJ. That's bull. And this is why that's bull. It's because Vladimir Klitschko hadn't looked as good in years as when he fought Anthony Joshua. And yes, he may be coming off two losses, but he's potentially coming off two losses to the best two boxers in the heavyweight division. He's coming off a loss against a Tyson Fury who just displayed how he can dominate Deontay Wilder. And he's also coming off a loss against a, a unified world champion in Anthony Joshua who fights nothing but ranked top 10 opponents. So Anthony Joshua has the best resume in the heavyweight division. Tyson Fury puts on a boxing masterclass of the current WBC world champion. You have to give the credit where credit is due. Vladimir Klitschko was, went life and death with um, Anthony Joshua. That was a great fight. That was an up and down fight. And most people would have loved to see a rematch. But Anthony Joshua did win the fight clearly um, with the Tyson Fury fight. It looks like everyone wanted to see the rematch for that. But for whatever reason, the fight just couldn't get done. You know, these guys kept trying to get the fight done. It's, you know, they even agreed. But, you know, Tyson Fury had to pull out ultimately. So it's a shame that we never got to see what would have happened in the rematch. Would, you know, Klitschko would have made the adjustments, would have upped his work rate, would have not been so cautious. You know, that that would have been intriguing. Unfortunately, we didn't get that fight. So I think that's still a fight I would like to see. But ultimately, with Dillian White and, and um, um, Vladimir Klitschko, I think that this is the type of fight that Dillian White should get credit for. I think this is the type of fight that it's a risky fight for Dillian White, and a lot of people automatically assume that it'll be easy for Dillian White, or he'll ultimately, you know, because, oh, Vladimir Klitschko's 43 years old. I think this is a 50-50 fight. Vladimir Klitschko is an elite level fighter. Even though he's 43 years old, that is going to come into play. And also the fact that Vladimir Klitschko has had a long layoff, that is going to come into play. But his boxing skills and ability have not decayed or diminished because you have to understand, you know, they, they may have went down to some degree, but not to the point where he's no longer effective or top level fighter. You know, you got to look at it like this. A heavyweight matures later than most other boxers. Vladimir Klitschko hasn't taken a ton of punishment in his reign of the heavyweight division. So you have to understand that this is going to be a great fight. Um, I think it's close to a 50-50 fight, but because of the layoff, but because of the age and the activity, um, I have to give it to Dillian White in a 60-40 split. I see that Dillian White just being too much in the later rounds for Klitschko I think the body shots will wear down Klitschko and then you know Dillian White be able to move ahead and possibly even stop him but that doesn't mean that Klitschko couldn't stop you know Dillian White at some point in the fight as well and you know Vladimir Klitschko is going to hit Dillian White very hard he's going to be his most difficult opponent outside of Anthony Joshua and it'd be a huge test for Dillian White I believe this is the type of fight that Dillian White needs to take to hit the superstar level I think this is the type of fight that if Dillian White wins then he becomes comes one of the three top heavyweights in the world with Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua, and then the next thing would be Dillian White, because I believe that this would showcase him to the world in a massive event, in a huge stadium fight, and then Dillian White would be able to command the respect to get fights made easily with Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. You know, in the Anthony Joshua, he's already fought Anthony Joshua, and I understand these guys are going through contract negotiations, and I don't like to get into that at this point, because if you look at it like this, it's still early. You know these guys already fought once. You know they were the same promoter. You know eventually the fight's going to get done at some point. Whether it's the next fight or the fight after next, you already know that's going to happen at some point because the demand for an AJ and Dillian White rematch is always going to be there. So ultimately, 
I think this would be a better match for Dillian White right now. I think jumping into an Anthony Joshua fight right away is bad for his career. And the reason why I say that is I think Dillian White needs another elevation type fight just to raise his profile even more because he's already on the brink of superstardom. He's already a star. Imagine a win over Vladimir Klitschko would take him to the next level and propel him into superstardom. A lot of people don't believe that, but I think that he would be on the same level or close to it of Anthony Joshua Tyson Fury in the UK because he's already selling out stadium um, arenas. He's already on pay-per-view. So I think this would further propel him. I think this would be a great fight. I think it would be a close fight, a difficult fight, but I ultimately think Dillian White to get the victory. But that doesn't mean that, uh, you know, Vladimir Klitschko wouldn't be a, a very tough test and wouldn't possibly stop Dillian White as well. So I think that would be a great fight to make make and i hope it is made ultimately once again unbiased as always it's the ibfp please share like you must absolutely subscribe